Inside Science. So, what happened in the world of science in 2018? Well, we landed on an asteroid, we felt the force of climate change, and we tinkered with our own genetic code. I'm Ali Jennings, and here's my pick of the science from 2018. The numbers that you see up here in the corner are the references to the studies I'm talking about. Now, Ryugu is a magical underwater dragon palace in Japanese folklore. It's also the name of a diamond-shaped asteroid hurtling through space in our neighborhood of the solar system. JAXA, the Japanese space agency, launched a spacecraft called Hayabusa 2 to investigate Ryugu way back in 2014. This summer, Hayabusa 2 arrived. The JAXA team had to hit a 900 meter wide rock spinning through space around 300 million kilometers away. And that's like you having to shoot a cherry off the top of my head if I was in Albuquerque and you were in Honolulu. And then in September, the spacecraft sent back this. Hayabusa 2 had deployed four landing scouts onto the face of Ryugu, and they moved by hopping across the rock. And they sent back images that are truly otherworldly. Hayabusa 2 will study Ryugu into 2019 and will land to collect samples of the asteroid's surface to discover what it's made of. In the Japanese legend, the fisherman Urashima Taro visits Ryugu before returning home with a mysterious sealed box from the Dragon King. Hayabusa 2 hopes to return to Earth in 2020, also bearing samples from the mysterious asteroid. Yes, 2018 was a great year for exploring the solar system. We found tantalizingly complex organic molecules in the ice plume spouting from the surface of Enceladus, that's one of Saturn's moons. Commercial space travel came closer, although so far it's not been particularly useful. And even though Curiosity died, NASA's new InSight rover started gathering data on how Mars formed, and it sent back some stunning sunset selfies the red planet. But back here on Earth, things aren't going so smoothly. Heat and drought set unprecedented fires blazing across the world, the worst fire season on record in British Columbia, and the worst in California's history. And these disasters are likely being driven by mankind's heating of the planet. And that's according to the US government's fourth national assessment released at the end of November. That assessment echoes a report released by the IPCC in October, one that begged politicians to change course. But still, carbon emissions went up by 2.7% to an all-time high in 2018. There's not much science can do in the face of bad politics. The good news is that it's forcing scientists to become political. In the midterms this November, seven scientists were elected to the House of Representatives, a biochemist and nurse and medical doctor, three engineers, and a computer scientist. And that is awesome. Politics has to be the one to solve global warming, but science can still help. Although some suggestions this year were a little outlandish. One group of researchers advised slowing ice sheet collapse by building huge walls under the sea. But other ideas were more enticing. One study found that by putting renewable power plants all across the Sahara Desert, you could change the local climate and bring back the rain. Now, from geoengineering to genetic engineering. In November, a startling news story came out of China. A researcher, He Jiangqi, reported the birth of the first ever genetically engineered human babies. The twin girls have their CCR5 gene disabled. This is a naturally occurring mutation in some people that's thought to be protective against HIV infection. And if it's true, the twins mark a milestone in scientific history. But the scientific community is furious at Hei Zhang Kui's total disregard for ethics for turning two children into living experiments. But controversy aside, 2018 saw the manipulation of genes become mainstream. A trial published in April successfully re-engineered the blood cells of patients with beta thalassemia. And after it, the patients no longer needed blood transfusions. 
and later in the year, a drug was approved for silencing faulty genes in a rare heart condition. Way back in January, a clinical trial was registered that will re-engineer immune cells to help them target tumors in cancer. Now, those are not the only things that happened in 2018. We also detected neutrinos from a cosmic blazar. We uncovered some of the earliest human history and we programmed AI that can now read better than humans. But there's no more time left. To find more amazing 2018 science stories, go and explore the Inside Science website. But for now, I've been Ali Jennings. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in 2019. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.